You know, during these past holidays I have seen a lot of shit. In fact, so much that I want to enact a martial law. And hello everyone, it is I, your favorite martial law in Poland enforcer, Comrade Ivan. And welcome back once again to Hearts of Iron 4 and Poland Time Machine mod. Now, I was informed about this mod by, I believe, one of the developers of it on Discord. And I promised that I'm gonna make a video on it. Well, this was supposed to be made a month ago, but due to me being both busy and lazy at the same time, I didn't. But better late than never. So what is this mod about? Well, just like many other Time Machines mods, it transports modern Polish politicians into pre-World War II Poland. So this is gonna be quite funny, and I'm gonna do something no Paul would ever even think of doing, going communist. And here we are as a third Polish Republic here in the middle of Europe in between Germany and the Soviet Union, so not really a good position. We start with a regular number of troops just like base game Poland, and we also, well, have the same position as base game Poland. However, one thing that is different is we are not ruled by whoever ruled Poland in 1936, we are in fact ruled by Andrzej Duda. And we have some really nice bonuses here such as TVP and 500 plus, and some not really nice such as backwards army, uh, unstable government and hyperinflation. And we are also led by a party called PIS. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. And here is the entire tree for Poland which is quite huge I must say. However, before we get to the political part of it, we must uh, get rid of the hyperinflation. And with the last economic focus completed and our inflation removed, we can finally deal with the political side of things by overthrowing Kaczynski. However, I believe this is not Ted Kaczynski who we are overthrowing. Oh boy, I sure do wonder where this will lead to. And now we have to choose who will lead the new government. And of course, it will be our favorite, communists. And that starts a civil war. And now, even the Ukrainians have risen up. So that's quite shit. Why thank you, Stalin, that will be of real good use to us. And now that the third Polish Republic is dead, I can finally deal with the Ukrainians. And bye bye Ukraine. And now because we went communist we also get fight for power, which is basically inner party infighting. And that means we have to support Stalinists over Trotskyites. And boy, judging by my political power that's gonna take a while. And while we are at it, why don't we get onto the Pol Pot grind set and completely abolish all private property? Hey, somebody has to restart the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. On the occasion of the renovation of Comrade Michal's bathroom, Karl Marx lived to see a monument in Warsaw. The 5.5 meter concrete statue unveiled on Saturday was donated to Comrade Michal from the beloved nation. Well, ain't that sweet? Aight, time to restart the Commonwealth. And there we go, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth formed. I was wondering what is all of this shit going on in South America, and then I just look over here and... Um, interesting. Luvmi collectivization, Luvmi recruitable population factor, 8 stability, 8 landlords, simple as. Now this section of mine might be equivalent to suicide, However, considering that Germany still hasn't annexed Austria, we might catch them with their pants down. And because Germans have more divisions than us, we should probably join the Comintern, just as a protection. Oh boy, this is gonna be terrible, but here we go. Honestly, this is going better than I expected at first, so my plan is just uh, somehow take out East Prussia and just hold here until they run out of manpower. 
Bulletproof plan. Honestly, I would like to insert Zelensky saying hello Stalin, we need 5 billion rockets, but I honestly used it already in one video, so it would be kinda redundant. And now, it is time that we do a little trolling. And here are another two. Oh boy, Teuton's dying. And it is also time that we finally end this misery here in East Prussia. By killing everyone in Königsberg. Ah, huh, that's quite easier than I thought. And now that East Prussia is no longer an issue, we can probably launch the Wojtek offensive operation, followed by Jaruzelski offensive operation, followed by martial law in Breslau offensive operations. You know, I'm just gonna keep constantly mentioning Jaruzelski, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, that didn't go as well as I planned, however we have moved frontline and into German territory, so that's some kind of a positive, I guess. But oh well, small steps. Well, wasting manpower in pointless counterattacks maybe wasn't the brightest idea Germans ever have. And since I have fixed my supply issues, I believe it is time that we put an end to German misery. Well, fall of Germany is finally here, and Finland also joined because uh, they're suicidal, I guess. And Germany has capitulated, so now it is up to Italy, uh, Bulgaria and Finland. God, I just love fighting in the Alps. I'm not even gonna bother, I'm just gonna watch this. Ah, this is interesting, however I'm gonna keep the territory because fuck you. And the war is over! Oh boy, this is one interesting world. And we still have to take out Albania. Now you gotta be fucking kidding me. Now while that certainly is something, our tree is not complete yet because we have this little conquest tree here and we should start with Operation Danube. However, I'm not gonna immediately invade Czechoslovakia but invade Hungary instead. So yeah, let's start with that. Interesting move, Hungary. Very interesting move. Looking from a bright side, at least I don't need to wait to complete a focus to invade them. Now this is an interesting situation because Romania and Yugoslavia joined our cause. Ah, well there goes my dreams of conquest. And before I go on to invade Czechoslovakia, why don't we do the most based focus here? Starving the bourgeoisie. Now, Mr. Benesh, you might look strangely different, but that isn't gonna stop me from invading you. And with that finally done, I think it is fair to say that we have succeeded 
in this video to achieve greater Polish People's Republic because we now own of course Lithuania, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary and Southern Italy. Eh, also we haven't gone through the whole focus tree since there is a lot more to do in here but I'm honestly not willing to. So I believe that this promise of you know making a video of this mod has been fulfilled and I hope you guys have really enjoyed and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.